Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Kingdom. We are going to finish this. This is it. With only basically like three days left, a little bit more. And by the time that I'm uploading this, it is December 31st, 2023. Meaning that the moment that this video comes out, it will be my last video ever in 2023. So, I'm probably in the video off saying like, oh, see you all plubs in 2024 when that happens. So, that's going to be exciting. But, with that being said, this is it. This is where it's all going to lead up to. To the final stop and there's only three more stories that we can go to it's dining car and then two other things uh, two other things after so hopefully we can take uh royal bear jelly and throw them off the train because of their uh, heinous crimes so with that being said if you uh if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below on this video then feel free to do so it could be a random question a random comment a random fact something about me something about the game something entirely different it doesn't even matter because as long as they're having a fun time at the end of the day and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community that's what matters the most so with that being said i will also be reading comments from the video even more interrogations from the holiday express because hey that's gonna be fun with i'll read a few first before we get too deep into this like a few from mona wolf to your one saying i hate taking naps it always makes my head hurt you think taking a nap it would get rid of that that's weird. And also another comment says, uh, I am finally taking my two-week vacation. Well, you enjoy that two-week vacation. Uh, that was left eight days ago, so we basically have less than a week left. But take all the time that you need. And also, Lightstar left a quick comment saying, how's your eye? It's way, it is way better. Thank you so much for asking about that. My eye is way better. And I'm happy about that. So, let's go ahead and explore into the dining car. And we have to clear an investigation in the game. So, we're going to have to search. Great. The candy cane from the crime scene is fake. That means the real candy cane is here. Okay. Investigate the dining car. Oh, we're gonna have to go over all the... Oh, okay. Uh, a room service cart used in the kitchen. There's some sugar uh, behind the curtains, which belongs to old Jolly. New evidence, dining car investigation room service cart. So, there's some sugar behind the curtains and belongs to old Jolly. Okay. Well, he tempered that. Uh, plate. There's nothing special about this table. Perhaps something underneath it? Nope, just dust. Curses! Uh, nothing special about this. Nope, just us. The door in the back of the dining car is leading to the kitchen and is used mainly by Chef Cookie. We've never really interrogated Chef Cookie at, like, at all throughout all of this, which is kind of surprising. Uh, we have this thing. The menu of yesterday's supper and today's breakfast. How mouthwatering. Alright, evidence updated. Uh, dining car investigation. <clears throat> I gotta remember, I probably have to take this all into account if uh, all of this is probably gonna be used within uh, another deduction mini game. Because I'm pretty sure in the next one it's gonna be like, oh, one more deduction mini game, and then the last cutscene just like, oh, ends all off, everything has a happy ending. Uh, this sugar from sweetening your tea or any dish, really. This pot is filled to the brim. Mm, freshly filled pot. Okay. And we have the tea kettle. Teapot containing lukewarm tea from breakfast. Wait, there seems to be something inside. Oh. <laughs> just throw that to the side. Uh, check what's inside. Oh, what? Huh? A dining car invest- Oh, that's one of those, uh, it's a filter thing, I think. The candy cane was slowly melted away in the teapot. Upon closer examination, the worn handle indicates that it belonged to Old Jolly. Well, we couldn't even see the old handle. This mu- Oh, this mustache came off from the melted candy cane. Judging by the length of the color, there's no doubt it belongs to Royal Bear Jelly. Obviously, yeah. Alright, that should be everything, uh, investigated here, I think? I think we can end. Alright. Whew. So, we managed to find, uh, what, pot filled with, like, sugar or something? Uh, the menu. Uh, the plumbing mustache, the candy cane, the real candy cane, and something else that, of course, I'm probably forgetting about it. Uh, I suppose that's it for now. And now we have to go, the truth is in the tea. <laughs> Here is the plumbing tea. Alright. <clears throat> There's a rather long comment from Prince Lee the First, so... It's, it's seriously really long, so I'm just going to skim through it a bit. They say, comment question uh, for the comment that I left in that video. I would have a holiday update surrounding a single cookie, Snow Light Cookie, who is an OC. The story goes that in town, Snow Light Cookie uh, lived as an ancient artifact, and it looked, so, looked like a star in a witch they placed on the main holiday tree. Uh, and then she bumps into stuff, into, into a mysterious cookie, chased a silhouette, crashed, stumbles into a log, and uh, it's another OC cookie being Sucru's wolf cookie, and uh, this cookie was actually Snow Light Cookie's mom. <laughs> And, wow, that's a, this is a lot of, I really wish I could dive deep into the more of the lore of what you left, but it's just so much. Uh, I'm not telling you to leave short of comments. No, I'm actually really happy that you're leaving all this, like, you know, feedback and stuff like that. And also, just letting your creativity flow free. It's just, there's stuff in the video that I gotta do first before anything. And, uh, yeah, holiday stuff. 
But also, Sonic Gamer also in the comments saying, a comic question, probably said that inspired by a movie, Violent Night, Dark and Tears Cookie tries to ruin Christmas for Ginger Braver and her friends, and then Eggnog Cookie comes to save them by fighting her. I'm not sure if they would directly fight, but I'm pretty sure Eggnog would just try and revitalize the, uh, the holiday Christmas cookie miss spirit into every other cookie who managed to lose it. But also, right now, the last one I'll read comes from Shafir Ragor Nasikov. that says, Hey Hyperhams, I have a question for you. If you were transported into Kicker and Kingdom, but then you realize later you couldn't go home because they've chosen you as the hero alongside Ginger Brave, will you hate them or you simply open a new life? Yeah, I'll open a new life. Like, why would I hate someone if they told me, hey, I'm destined to be the hero, I'm the chosen one. Like, yeah, I'd be leaving a lot of people behind, but if I can't go back, then fun fact, I can't go back. It's like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Like, I I'm basically going to be turning into this fucking creature, and guess what? By the way, another deduction minigame. I'm going to be turning into this creature, and uh, I won't be able to go back, but I'm probably going to make more friends along the way, which sucks because I'm going to have to leave parents, friends, and lovers behind, but it sucks. But what can I do if I can't go back? I, I have no choice. Anyway, the truth is in the tea. Huh? That's... the teapot from the morning? An enclosed space, such as our Holiday Express, poses great difficulties for the culprit. If you throw an object out the window, someone will notice. If you try to hide it, someone might stumble upon it. I wonder, uh... <clears throat> I guess I just had a funny thought. What if someone drank the tea and someone was just like, this tea tastes a bit more minty than normal? I wonder. Holy macaroni! The conductor dissolved the candy cane in the tea! He said the word, he said macaroni. Precisely. Only our culprit made a critical mistake by leaving the teapot in the dining car we requisitioned earlier. It turned out the tea was insufficient to fully dissolve the fragments. Yeah, you, you should have like put it in like... There's a kitchen nearby. What if you just put it in, like, boiling water? But why was it necessary to dissolve the candy cane? Why did Royal Bear Jelly have to get rid of it all of a sudden? Like Detective Cheddar Cheese mentioned, this is where things get interesting. Why did Royal Bear Jelly have to melt the candy cane? Uh, can we look at our new pieces of evidence? I think, uh, okay, candy cane, this one. Half-melted candy cane found inside the tea strainer, slowly melted into hot tea, handles worn with scratches. That's a glass. Uh, mustache strands found in the tea strainer. Seems like it came from the melted candy cane. Uh, judging by the length of the color, it belongs to Royal Bear Jelly. So. What? Oh, wait. Is that how? So, what if, like, the candy cane was getting too sticky and they accidentally pressed the. Well, okay. Before I get to any crude assumptions, let me just read this first. Room service cart used in the kitchen. Some sugar can be found behind the curtain. After examining the color of the sugar granules, it seems to be old jollies. Huh. Alright, so here I'm thinking. What if the candy cane was, like, too sticky during the heat of the moment, and, uh, it accidentally collided with, uh, old, uh, uh, Royal Bear Jelly's mustache? So he had to, like, take it off. But in the, in the verge of taking it off, he ripped off portion of his mustache. And if people were to notice one big portion of his mustache was missing, they'd be like, oh, wait, that's the weirdest design. Why did your mustache get ripped off? So that's why when we first saw him, his mustache was super long, but now it's super short because he had to go somewhere and get like a shaver razor thing and shave it both sides. It's like how barbershops do it to you. They had to shave it both sides just to make it equal so they would match. Oh, that's actually real classic. All right, let's go ahead and uh, slowly melt. No, wait, 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 what? I th it would be this, uh, stand. It came from the melted candy cane. Because it came from it. It ripped off. And I guess with the hot tea, it kind of made it separate because of the liquid, but. Oh, people will probably drink mustache hair. I really hope no one drunk from that tea. Man, this tastes. <laughs> this tea tastes really minty today, but why is there a hair in my tea? Oh, that, there's a whole mustache in my tea. Who the fuck left a mustache in my tea? That is disgusting, dude. Oh, I hope you go to jail just for that. You see, in the course of their physical altercation with Royal Bear Jelly, Old Jolly happened to pluck the conductor's mustache. Remember Royal Bear Jelly's so-called holiday style from earlier? The hairs must have gotten stuck to the candy cane. It was super sticky after all. The conductor had absolutely no time to pick the hairs one by one. I doubt it was possible at all. I mean, with enough... Uh, considering how long we would be on the train, probably not. But, eh, with enough time and dedication, maybe. Now hold on. If old Jolly's candy cane was in the tea, this means... Royal Bear Jelly's mustache was also in it? We're uh, everyone... You, <laughs> everyone, vomiting. Oh, I drank two cups of Bear Jelly Moustache! 
I, th I, okay. Let's excuse him for murder. This is the whole entire new crime by itself. He deserves 50 years plus. This is nonsense. The, the conductor goes to the kitchen hourly, to and fro, to and fro. My, my, my mustache could stick t to anything. And how, how do you know this? This is old Johnny's cane. We run out of sugar. I, I used a, a, another ornament from the tree to sweeten it. Why would you use an ornament to sweeten tea? Are those like fake? Of course, my friend. Anything is possible. But this is where the criminalists come in. A quick analysis will reveal to whom the candy cane really belongs. Isn't that technically impossible though? Cause like, even if it was melted in tea, like it hasn't been, like, I, it still survived, but wouldn't like any like prints and stuff on it like be melted off? Yes, detective. I shall personally see that this candy cane is delivered to the lab as soon as we arrive at the station. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm. He's jumping out the window. Get it. Get rid of him. The culprit is on the run. Let me help. No need. We have a specialist right here. Hi. -ya! <laughs> see, see, for the new kung fu. Going somewhere? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Fine. I did it. I didn't mean to, but I did it. I just. I just wanted to read the novel. <laughs> Alright, so you're telling me when someone writes the upcoming Hype Cookie X DJ Cookie fan fiction, am I gonna have to kill them just so they can make the next part? I don't, I mean, I mean, I can understand why I say it like that, but that's still unexcusable. I didn't mean to hurt the sugar gnome. I, I panicked and I thought I'd perfectly covered my tracks. That's where you are mistaken, Conductor. There is no perfection when it comes to crime. Only cold, hard truth waiting to be unveiled. And this is the reason why I write my novels. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, old Jolly. What have I done? I'm alive! What the? I had a zombie. <gasps> old Jolly? Oh, no. Did I crumble too? Am I in heaven? Heaven cannon. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. We sugar gnomes are hardy and resilient. <laughs> a blow with a candy cane, I can handle that. Nope, nope. But it did knock me out. You just pulled a saw. You just pulled a plumbing saw. I told. I said it before. And for longer than I would like to admit, this holiday fatigue seems to be getting to me. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh, I'm so happy you're alive and well, my friend. Uh, but please, do something about that strawberry jam. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, I will turn myself in as soon as we reach our destination. <laughs> well done, macaroni cookie. Another case solved. Is it just me, or does crime follow wherever we go? Yeah, I wonder why you criminal investigators undercover. <laughs> Alright, there's one more thing that we can do with being the final stop holidays. But, uh, there is something else I do want to do after that, which is pretty obvious. But, before we get on, we do need to read a few comments. But I want to ask a common question of the day first. Which, since this is basically going to be the final portion of this video, let's just straight up ask, what is your opinion on this whole entire story in general? Like, what did you think of the characters? What did you think of the storyline? What did you think of, like, any plot twist? Because, I gotta be honest, I thought that Sugar Gnome was dead. Because, uh, I swear, recently we're just... I think... <laughs> I think they'd be like, you know... We're killing a lot of people on the holidays. We, we probably shouldn't kill too many. Because uh, we saw a uh, sherbet cookie get destroyed. We saw a frost cookie get evaporated. Uh, now we're going to see old Jolly just get like blunt force trauma murdered. But luckily we didn't have to go through that route. Because uh, they're still alive. Uh, like I said, they just pulled a saw where they passed out for like a full four hours. But they just, they're back normal. up they're Just up and at him with a big blood stain on their face. Just like Saul. Uh. Yeah, personally, I think this story was really entertaining, and I knew people were gonna probably like, freak out over the tea and like the mustache of the tea. It's probably disgusting. Anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and read a few more comments before I actually get onto the ending, because we are this close. Like, for example, a few from Smart and Spiral says, "Oh gosh, what a detective holiday event, huh?" And it, it's a really good event, I will admit. Another comment you left is not gonna lie. I did watch more of these boring videos, but eh, I make some music for the first time. Wait, you made music, but the videos are boring. Well, I'm so sorry to hear about that, but I hope you get a better than career, a career than I ever could. Your last comment, though, says, Two days ago, I got stung by the unknown bug. Ow. 
Is that karma for saying that the videos were boring? Uh, I hope you get better. Uh, and a few more comments from an idiot says, Hi, how is my favorite holiday? Uh, my, how is my favorite influencer doing? I'm doing pretty good, but I want to know how you're doing too, because I want you to have a good life, especially since 2024 is coming up. I hope you have a good 2024 yourself. And another comment you said, uh, it says, uh, If you could choose one song that everyone will hear in uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, what would, the, what would you make that song? Personally, I would make it Born This Way by Lady Gaga. Uh, what's, what, what's that one song that goes like, Boom the Yada? Like, boom, the yada, boom, the yada, boom, the yada, boom, the yada. Like, I feel like it's a short song, but it's sweet. Like, and after 12 o'clock every day, I think it'd just be, you know, pretty sweet for everyone to hear. All right. The final stop. Holiday. Or holidays. It's plural. Let's get this done. Milky Way, is that you? Welcome to the Cookie Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for merry holiday festivities? At last. It was a long journey. Linzer Cookie. Creme brulee cookie. I wanted to thank you for all that you've done. My good name is cleared thanks to you. I only did what I thought was right. I knew you would say that. Then how about happy holidays? I like it better. It's been a while since we met during the holidays, isn't it? Remember? You wouldn't find time for me because of your endless practice sessions back then, too? Oh. Wasn't it you who would talk ceaselessly about crime and jam after the success of your debut novel? Oh, come on, you liked it. <laughs> yes, I did. Say, will you come to see the concert tomorrow? I've been practicing quite a lot, you see. Very well. I think I might be able to find some time. It just so happens that I finished my manuscript last night. Yeah, after all the death and murder and stuff, I was able to get folks enough to finish it. You wrote... While all those things were happening. Even Cremberley agrees. Of course, there's no better time. I used to only write about cookies before. But this time, other desserts will appear too. This little fact might or might not be crucial to the plot. Hmm, sounds intriguing. I only hope the culprit is not the pianist. <laughs> I pray it's not. <laughs> you will find out soon enough. Snowing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. It's snowing. Happy holidays, creme brulee cookie. Happy holidays, Linzer cookie. I suppose it just ends off like that with this, like, soft summer music thing. It's, like... It's so bittersweet, but m majority sweet. Like, you went through all this n nonsense, and you basically had to deal with, like, PTSD of the fact that you thought you saw a corpse... Drunk mu mustache tea, and uh, someone ended up nearly getting away with it. But everything's resolved in the end now, so that's good. And uh, I gotta be fair. Just as like a little last thing to talk about the story, I think what really makes the story shine is like the characters and like how they use their role in the story. Even if it's small, it's still significant. And I also think the introduction of cheddar cheese and macaroni as characters who aren't playable, but I have a high feeling that they're going to be playable in the future. And I really hope that we get shenanigans between Cheddar Cheese and Almond. Like the two detectives who are like, one's a lot more serious, but the one's the other one's a lot more laid back. But then you have one and Macaroni, who are like more like the uh, co-detectives, that makes sense. Or they're still detectives, but like, they're kind of under the wings of the other higher up ones. And uh, they just have good fun together. I feel like the detective organization, which makes me think, I know it's kind of, it's going to be bad for me to say this. We need more crime cookies so they can actually get like investigate and have good stories between the, you know, the heroes. But yeah, that's it. But there's one more thing I want. Oh, aw, Finn. Now there is one more thing I want to do, which everyone's going to get really mad at me about. I know that for a guaranteed fact, uh, which by the way, we got the achievements over here. Uh, which we have everything the dining car interact with all what do you mean? I inter I did not interact with all objects. I thought I did I, I interacted with the windows and you know, let's do this real quick And then and there's the one thing I want to focus on. Uh, let's just check on everything uh, Yada yada uh, caught that I caught that caught that uh, Oops that went off. I got to shove this thing out uh, candy cane mustache uh, menu uh, menu uh, Oh, oh, yeah, it's that tiny thing. A welcome message from the Royal Bear Jelly to the passengers visiting the dining car. The conductor's hand around looks soft and squishy. Well, that's kind of cute. Uh, thing, uh, table over there, uh, little, little tree, uh, lamp, door. All right, I think, I think that's everything. I think. Because it was that little tiny handwritten message. That, that was the thing, right? 
If it says 10, then I did it. It's 10. There we go. Now, that's all the things complete. So, I can get everything being the last thing, which is... Uh, I think this is the title. Agatha Crispy for titles. Nice. But like I mentioned, that's not all. If I go over to tickets, there's the epilogue. Well, that's right. We're going to do the plumbing epilogue. All right, so with that being said, before we actually go with this, we're going to read the rest of the comments I see in the video. It's like one saying, channel of many random saying, I'm, I'm too lazy to watch and play through the actual thing, so thanks for letting me get recording this. So thanks for recording this. Well, thank you. Well, honestly, thank you. That means a lot to me. I'm glad that you're able to view it for yourself and you can enjoy it without having the, uh, you know, without having to just sit down and play the whole entire thing yourself. But it's fine because, you know, I got to be honest, I'm glad that I'm making people's days better just by doing that. Another comment from AGamer360 saying, I finished the event today and I'm going to tell my reaction when you're ending the event. Hey, it's perfect that I'm reading that on this video because it's all over. Uh, and also, the last comment I read comes from Minty Chew Star Clan saying, To answer your question for me, a dream holiday update would be uh, great. I guess the best way I can put it is that it would be an update that pops up to some cookies you know. And maybe a, co a cookie based off a holiday treat, but they also have to be common as well, like a chocolate chip or a Neapolitan cookie. I don't even know what a Neapolitan cookie if it already exists. <laughs> well, ask for the story, maybe they can help out Old Jolly. And with a present, or maybe they can play based off the Nutcracker or the Christmas Carol or something along those lines. I think, honestly, in my personal opinion, a Nutcracker cookie would actually be really cool. Like a, nut, a cool nutty cookie that can also crush nuts. That sounds weird when I say it like that. But also, we can get these bonus rewards because, uh... <laughs> anyway, I, I'm not even going to get these yet because I just want to look at the epilogue. Let's see what this is about. Oh my gosh, it's on like a... Let's show you have Linger cookie on uh, being reported. Because that's reporter cookie. Okay, <clears throat> I gotta get my voice for this. Please welcome Linzer Cookie, the Cracker Fries winning novelist with her latest masterpiece, The Holiday Express. You have Creme Brulee Cookie playing the piano. The recital of genius pianist Creme Brulee Cookie is sold out. That's, mac that's macaroni with the controller and cheddar cheese just sipping cups. Cheddar cheese cookie, I request- oh wait. <laughs> cheddar cheese cookie, I requested backup from HQ. We still have- we still haven't- you want me to go? Oh, there's that f a nice mustache, idiot. Is there any buttercream for my mustache in prison? <laughs> That's it. That's the whole dialogue. <laughs> what is that, 15 bucks for four scenes? <laughs> I think someone warned me about that. About like, hey, you're just gonna get four scenes. I, I knew it was gonna be bad. I didn't think it'd be that short. <laughs> this painting depicts the incident that occurred on the Holiday Express. The case is cracked, so let's enjoy the winter holidays. And this gives me the whole story. Uh... I'm pretty sure that was just, like, some person, like, talking, uh, who was behind that. I mean, hey, I guess that makes for a good thumbnail if your old fan one wants it. Alright, and also you get this, which is a Mysterious Holiday Express. Cool. And you get all of this bonus. Uh, you get all the first class things. Great. And then, uh, the things for the premium. And, uh, if you want, you can... The thing is, you don't have to get the story ticket. Like, you know, this is a story ticket. Gift ticket in first class. But the real only reason why people would want to still buy this is because this has a different train set. Look, this is holiday preparations for the story, but for first class, this is happy holidays. It's different. If you want to literally get your whole completion set, you would also have to get this too. And pray in mind, this also costs money. That's $11.99. I've already done enough spending here as it is. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video and this whole story in regards to everything here, uh, then be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kicker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, there will be links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kicker on YouTube set for absolutely free, a link to my Discord server called the Hype Knees Hub, and a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. But this might be, unless if I s upload some impromptu short, then this will be my last video for 2023. So I will see all of you entities and guardians in 2024. Heal the Hype Knees.